Now, during Soviet times, a tattoo was more likely to be a mark of shame than a fashion statement. It often indicated that the wearer had served a prison sentence. But all that's changed now in Ukraine, where the Western passion for tattoos and other forms of body art is making its mark. Yulia Papova has more. Katya's first tattoo was in the shape of a lion to mark the birth of her son, Leo. Like most adult people in Ukraine, her family took it as a symbol of something dark, evil and even criminal. But Katya was 18 at the time and they had to accept the rebel for who she was. I understand that the tattoos are not making it even more beautiful, yeah? It's something just very special for me. It's like my signs, my totems. Katya says her tattoos help her accentuate herself as a singer and link her to the world of showbiz. Just like in ancient times when body art was used to show who is who in the tribe. But to get a tattoo these days, there's no need to haunt mammoths. Patience, money and a little imagination will help you get a permanent design for your body. Yet some artists consider tattoos a inner calling. Grandpa's is one of the oldest studios in Kiev. It's very selective with its customers. Igor says he'll never penetrate a human's body if a person hasn't fully grasped that tattoos are not only for decor. Angelina Jolie's body is covered in tattoos. Have you seen them? It's not tattoo art, it's show business. Boasting a small collection of pieces of human ears, Igor says he often gets an odd look on the street. But it's not a big price to pay in exchange for discovering your true self. The same applies to this man. He was in prison for seven years. A color thief that became a respected tattoo artist. In some Russian Soviet times, tattoos were a way of showing the hierarchy in prison. Tattoos have special meanings. For example, epithets or thieves' stars. Of course, I can give it to someone, but they'll have to live with it. At night, in barracks, under a dim light, with a few prisoners on guard. Almost everybody, he says, would use the same needle. The most popular type of dye is called zhizhonka. To make it, you need a heel of a tarpaulin army boot. You take it off and burn it into soot. Then you take a regular fabric handkerchief and push this substance through. Add liquid and it's ready. Having come out of jail, Viktor found himself a family. Perhaps not the most traditional, but at least highly decorated. The skills acquired in prison opened up a new world of professional tattoo artists. They say tattoos are addictive. Once you get one, you'll never stop. Also, they will rarely tell you what their body art really means. It's there for a reason. That's as much as you will get. While tattoos have become fashionable, they're also highly personal. And as in the case of this particular angel, they sometimes give you wings. Yulia Popova, Russia Today, Ukraine.